All right, I'm back. I'm actually going to SSH into this because I'm trying to copy and paste stuff and it's taking too long here. So let me just first get the IP of the local IP of this. This guy is 192.168.0.240. Let's click yes. And I'm going to try this one to get the external IP address. This command here. Okay. Let's also try this one. Alright, so that looks like the IP that we're interested in. So I'm just going to copy this. So we need we need this piece of information so um, it knows where to go, basically. Like if we're on our phone and we're trying to use the open VPN, it needs to know what IP address to go to. So let's go back to here. And we're going to run this little, shell, uh, looks like a shell script of some sort. So this is actually doing all the install work for us. If we had to do all this by hand, it would be a lot more uh, involved. But I think we just might have to sudo that. Let's try running this. Okay, so it started like a little um, program here. So now it's asking what the public IP address is. So we're going to give it that. Uh, all right, we'll go with UDP. Um, yeah, let's use the default for now, 1194. I'm going to pick Google here, so two. Enter a name for the first client. So I'm going to call this Fran Phone because this is going to be a client I install on my my phone. Okay. I'll press any key to begin. Okay. So it looks like it's starting. Um, while this runs, I'm going to read these instructions here. Wow, that was fast. So it looks like it finished already. Okay, so it's saying this is the important piece. The client configuration is available in this directory. So this script made this .ovpn file for us. So let's just go there and look at it. So if we... Um, OVPN. I'm expecting it to be, yeah, like a certificate like this. So this is what uh, we install on our client device. So we're going to basically copy this and install it on our iPhone or on your phone, whatever device you have. So get out of this. Um, okay. So the next thing we have to figure out is how do we copy how, how can we copy this file? Like, how do we access this file? Because um, we need to copy it to our to our phone. Um, and the way I'm familiar with is using something called FileZilla to basically just connect to this server. So we know the host is. Um, uh, actually, I don't know what it is. It is zero dot two forty. 0.240 username password and port is going to be we want to do um, 22 all right so we want to oh we should have connected as root actually because uh, where did it say that file was
Okay, there it is. So it's we need to reconnect as the root, I think. So let's try that. Let's go there. I don't know why or how to connect. Well, in any case, we can. What I'm going to do is just copy this full this file sudo cp. And I'm going to place it in um, slash home slash fran slash um, fran dot So now, if we switch user to go to um, Fran's home directory. Now we have that file there. So I should be able to access it. Um, I might have to refresh this. So there's that's the file we need. Um, so this is the remote server. This is my local computer. I'm just going to paste it to this um, this E staging drive. It's just a hard drive I have on my computer. So I'm just going to download it. And if we go to E, we should have an open VPN file right there. So that is the file that we need to get on our iPhone. Um, so a really um, insecure way of doing this, and I wouldn't recommend it, is just emailing it, and that, that's what I'm gonna do. But uh, it's just, if you do that, just realize there is a security risk there, but I'm just doing it to save time, uh, kind of the lazy way. But uh, So I'm just gonna literally email this file to myself, and then in the next video, I'm going to, um, from my email on my phone, just open this file up and connect uh, to the server. Um, so yeah, I'll see you in that video.